here to talk about my anticipated reads for the next three months of the year. So I don't know how this has happened, but we're already in March, and March is nearly over. And now I'm here to tell you about my anticipated reads for the months of April, May, and June. And I've only got nine. And these are all books that I'm really excited, but it's really funny because like I feel like a majority of them are contemporaries. And normally there's more fantasy books, and I'm like, yeah, but this time I'm like, yes, give me all the contemporaries because they all sound adorable and cute and I want to read them. And I love making these videos and talking about the books that I'm really excited, and I only get to do it four times a year, but still, when I get to the second one, I'm always like, where's the year gone? Like, what's happening? But I am so keen to get into the list of books that I'm really keen for. So the first book of April is What I Like About You by Marissa Cantor, and this is coming out on April 7th, and this is a book about a love triangle that involves only two people, because the main character has an online relationship with this guy that she's never met, and they've been talking to each other for a lot, and she goes by the name of Hayley, but in real life she's actually named Kelsey, and she has a totally different persona, totally different life, and the guy Hale that she's talking to ends up moving to her town and he meets her and she's got to be like two different people at the same time. And it seems like this is going to be a real like techie book of like online savviness and I just think it sounds exciting because again it's a love triangle between two people. I think that's going to be very interesting and I'm pretty sure the main character is going to have to put herself out there and just like I'm keen. It sounds like it's going to be amazing. Okay the next book is The Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jemanzi. I think that's how you say her name and it's coming out on the 14th of April and I think this is going to be a really fun read. So our main character Sloane uh, lost her fiance two years back and she hasn't really had her life sorted since then. And then she finds this stray puppy that just kind of changes her life and brings her out of a shell again and she's all happy until the owner reaches out to get the puppy back because he's been on tour in Australia for the past couple of months and his dog must have run away from where he was and he wants the dog back and now she's ready to fight him and I think this is going to be a great idea because it's a puppy involved. Hopefully they'll have dual custody when they fall in love with this puppy which is bound to happen. I really like the idea of having a puppy is the main plot light of a story so that's what really intrigued me but this is an adult contemporary that I think is going to be really really fun and I'm just keen. So the next book on my list is The Time of Our Lives by Emily Wibbly and Austin Sigmund Broker which comes out on April 21st and this is an Orpho duo that I've read from before. So the first two books were Always Never Yours and then If I'm Being Honest and I haven't read the second book yet but I know that they both did retellings of different plays but this one is not a retelling and it's just about two teens that have conflicting ideas of what they want to do. So the main male character his mum has onset Alzheimer's and he doesn't want to leave home and he wants to stay with her and not go to college and then the main female character is all about jumping away from her parents and living a free life so they've got very different ideas of what they want to do and they clash quite a bit but I think it's going to be like a hate to love kind of romance here and it's probably going to be quite sad and I'm pretty sure it's not a retelling of anything because there hasn't been any talk about it being like a story of something else but I think it's going to be a fun like contemporary and like really there's not too much to say about it. It is like a lot of different stories where you know people have their problems and they work it out and they fall in love but still I want to read another book by these authors and I just have to read the one that I haven't read yet. Okay coming into May but the first book is Aurora Burning which comes out on the 5th and this is by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman and it is the second book in the Aurora Rising trilogy? Duology? I'm not really sure what it's meant to be. I don't really know what to expect with this book because like I liked the first one but I was also disappointed to it because I had such a high standard for Illuminae that this didn't like live up to it and it was quite similar and to be honest I'm only here for Aurora and Cal's relationship because like it's got a whole thing going on with it and I'm keen to see where it goes and I do like the banter between the characters but really I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this book because I didn't really read the synopsis because it's a sequel I know the characters in the story I don't need much more but just know I'm excited about it. Okay the next book is Four Days of You and Me by Miranda Kennelly and this is coming out on May 5th as well and this just seems like it's gonna be a cute romance where it takes place over four days but in four different years so it's like one day a year if that makes sense but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be like a romance of the characters like slowly drifting together and it kind of reminds me of one day which takes place over 20 years of one day each so I think it's like a shortened version of that but I think it just sounds like it's gonna be a, like a nice cute little romance so I'm keen. Okay the next book that's coming out is House of Dragons by Jessica Kluhaus and this comes out on the 12th. I don't really need to say much about this it's about dragons and different dragons and families and they'll be fighting and drama and romance and I'm just keen for all of it. <laughs> okay coming into June we have got My Calamity Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows which comes out on the 2nd of June. So this is the third book in their famous people called Jane trilogy and I'm pretty excited. So first we had My Lady Jane who was about a queen in England was only queen for eight days before she died and then we had My Plain Jane which was about Jane Eyre and now we have My Calamity Jane which is going to be like a western story and I really don't 
know much about this character, but they write such good retellings of these stories that, like, I don't even care. Like, westerns aren't really my thing, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen to this Jane and see where the story goes and what crazy magical element they're going to put into it, and I'm just very excited. Okay, also coming out on the 2nd of June, we have Where Dreams Ascend by Janelle Angelis. I think that's how you say her name. I probably am wrong. But guys, I am very much sold because one, it is about a magical circus. Two, it's about a battle between three people fighting in the circus. And three, it's just my everything that I need because it's basically the night circus and I don't even care that it's basically the same story. Anything that's got a magical circus and a battle, I am here for. I don't even need to know much more than that, but there's going to be like lots of magical elements, lots of circusness, and like basically the stakes are going to just get higher and higher and higher as this story goes along. I didn't even know about this book until recently when I saw it on like one of the list of anticipated reads and I was like, yeah, it's gonna happen, I'm gonna read this and it sounds so good! And the last book that's coming out in June for me is Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Posden which comes out on the 16th. So this is the third book in the Geekerella trilogy or maybe series because I assumed it was a duology but then they've gone into a trilogy now so who knows. So first we had Geekerella, then we had the Princess and the Fangirl and now we have Bookish and the Beast and I don't even know how they're gonna do a retelling of Beauty and the Beast with the Geekish convention as the main setting but I don't care. I'm excited, I don't need to know that much about this series and I just recently bought The Princess and the Fangirl so that I can read it, so that I can read this one, and I am just keen about all the things. So guys, those are all of my anticipated reads for the next three months, and I'm just so keen to buy them like as soon as possible, but then there's so many books I have to read anyway, and I haven't really been buying as much lately. Like, I say that even though I did buy like a couple of books this month, but like that was at the start, but yes, I'm still excited. Like, there is nothing better to get excited about than new bookish releases, but oh, I'm just so keen. But also, guys, please tell me some of your anticipated reads just so I can have some more books on my radar. Like even though I've talked about nine books here, there's probably like a million books coming out in the next three months that I either forgot to mention or I just did not know about. But please let me know some of your favourites and I just can't wait to have more books coming out and more for me to read and also more books to add to that TBR that's never going to end. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!